<laughs> Good Monday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, alive and in color, from <laughs> Capitan, New Mexico. You're going to be very impressed with the noon video, ladies and gentlemen. I am in Capitan, one of my favorite little towns in New Mexico. Elevation about 6,500 feet. It's cool here this morning. Hey, Google, what's the temperature? Right now in Capitan, it's 36 degrees. With Due a, to current wind conditions, it feels like it's 28. With a high of 44, and it may snow. That's what they show, but I don't see it. Actually, the skies are clear. And if it can snow on a clear day, maybe it will. But anyway, what else? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. And if there's anything you want to do, then I suggest that you get busy doing it or it ain't going to happen. And how many G and antenna have I got sticking up? I tried to nail them down. But anyway, yeah, the noon video, we'll talk about life's full circle. And uh, anyway, been living in an RV a long time, and what I have found out in the past few days, or yeah, a few days, is the anywhere you can camp in an RV is full. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you. And what I found out is, is uh, not only are they full because there's more people, they're full because people are staying longer. It used to be people would just stay a few days and then move on. And now they're staying, some of them, or a lot of them are staying the full two-week uh, allotment. So, yeah, that's a big change. And uh, yesterday, <clears throat> let's see, last night I camped near Carrizozo, New Mexico. I boondocked because Valley of Fires was slammed. I mean, packed. Uh, Oliver Lee and Alamogordo was packed. You, could, you couldn't make a reservation for any site. I mean, I'm talking about even the tent sites. <clears throat> so, uh, I spent the night, no, night before last, uh, let's see, this is Monday, Saturday night, and then I got up Sunday morning and drove back out to uh, Valley of Fires thinking that surely somebody would have left and I'd get a spot there. Well, as fate would have it, there weren't any, you know, again. And uh, I thought, well... Okay, well, you got this deal working on the Carrizozo property. Let's, uh, you know, think about that. And then, uh, lucky me, uh, I was able to uh, do something a little different, and we'll talk about that at lunch. So anyway, guys, what else have we got? Uh, hey, Google, tell us a joke. What did the vinaigrette say to the refrigerator? Close the door. I'm dressing. You can write those down if you want to. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In it's 24 with a high of 42, about pretty close. Well, it's warm. It's cooler than here. But anyway, uh, what else? Uh, Zaytuni J. Cotterill. This is on com uh, This is on Walking Pancho Villa State Park. He says, granting citizenship based on birth country, question mark. The way citizenship works over here is children have their father's citizenship. Hey, Google, what is a naturalized citizen in the United States? According to Wikipedia, United States nationality law details the conditions in which a person holds United States nationality. In the United States, nationality is typically obtained through provisions in the U.S. Constitution, various laws, and international agreements. Citizenship is a right, not a privilege. Hey, Google. If you're born in the United States, are you a citizen? On the website americansoverseas.org, they say, a person may become a United States citizen by birth or through naturalization. Generally, if you are born in the United States or born to U.S. citizens, you are considered to be a U.S. citizen. If you are born in the United States, you are considered to be a U.S. citizen. Moving right along. Walking Columbus, New Mexico. On the website americansoverseas.org, oh, they say. She's taking off on me. The steaming bean, Walking Columbus. I like how buildings like that hotel is colored here in Canada. St. John's, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, 
has a lot of rain, so it's often overcast. Many of the residents there have painted their wooden homes with bright colors. And this not only brightens things, but it also attracts many tourists with their money. Very good, Steaming Bean. Thank you for your info from Canada. <laughs> John McNulty. Uh, this is on a gear springs. Every county in New Mexico has unique, interesting, and unique, th beautiful things to see. I never get tired of visiting there. Me either. I, I like New Mexico. I actually like uh, where I am right now, Capitan. Uh, Rocky the Rock's got two comments here. He says, good morning, Rusty and the Goat. Thanks for the wall tour. Looks like a good day ahead. He says, got snow, Rusty. We will look for some today. Stay warm. Have a great day. Well, thank you for that comment. And here's the old goat giving everybody a Monday morning goat, st a stinking goat kiss. And, uh, yeah, Rocky the Rock built the uh, little patio at my home base when I had it here in uh, Capitan. And we'll talk more about that in the noon video today. Thank you, Rocky the Rock. George Green on the Overnight R RV Spot. I wish I could afford to pay 20 bucks, but I'm a working stiff, not, w not a wealthy YouTube celebrity. <clears throat> well, I don't know what to say about that, George. Oh, George. Oh, George. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, well, I'm not a wealthy YouTube celebrity either, okay? I mean, you know, but I do work for a living and do this, you know. Anthony Rowan, earplugs for that generator. Uh, it Actually, the generator's okay. It is. It does make some noise. Of course, all generators do. I, like, I mean, gasoline generators. But it's about as quiet as a, a, a Honda generator. It's It's quiet. It's okay. Jim Colca, great tour of the park, Rusty. Yes, I own a 2021 Winnebago Micro Mini. Great value for money, or at least it was a good buy a year ago, as there's no telling what the same model would go for today. You know, that reminds me, if I, if I still have it, I'll, I'll show you. Somebody sent me an email yesterday showing the prices of the uh, unit I have today. A Thor 4 Winds 22E. And uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. Well, I can't find it right now, but I, I got it anyway. It's over $100,000 for this same unit. That means it, it, the price has basically doubled in a year and a half. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, John Coca. Uh, this is Bob Stein or Steen, depending on which side of the Mississippi you're on. <clears throat> comment call morning rusty i recognize that view looks like someone couldn't wait to get to home base west nice of the owners to let you use that lot also could you be re reunited with an old capitan neighbor to enjoy those beer 30 sunsets uh at, uh well, actually, no, because I've, I've changed. I've changed. Uh, you know, I've got, it's my mind. I can change it. You know what I mean? No, it's a it's a beautiful view there. No, but it wasn't where you thought it was. No, it, it was another area. Sorry, Scotty Thompson. Cool video talk, Rusty. LOL. Cool video talk. Nice blue coat jacket, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the masked bowler from Wisconsin. Bryce Welling on the tiny home says that looks exactly like the hunting cabin me and my cousin stayed at last summer in Hocking Hills. Hey Google, where is Hocking Hills? The address for Hocking Hills State Park is 19,852-0664, Logan, Ohio, 431. Logan, Ohio. Well, thank you. Anyway, Susan Moorfield, thanks Rusty, as I haven't seen a sunrise before. Have a nice day. Yeah. Not many people get up that early, and uh, but uh, this person's name is T Tiger Tickla on uh, Walking Pancho Villa. It says, classic words from Rusty the Texan. The reason they, ladies, get their dogs because they feel like that's protection when they're out on the road. And it is one way. The dog will bark, let them know they're fixing to get robbed. Yeah, <clears throat> that, he said that cracked him up. But no, there, you know, if you don't have anything, if you don't have anything to back the dog up, you're not going to, it doesn't help a hell of a lot. <clears throat> but if you got your 12 gauge pump shotgun with buckshot in there, that, that will bark a lot louder than any dog. 
Uh, Roland the Beats 808. That's not a house. It's a shed. Have I ever heard that before? Dear Trixa, wide open land. Yeah, that's right, Dear Trixa. He says, greetings from the North Sea in Germany. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful place, and there's a lot of areas in New Mexico, New Nevada, Arizona, uh, like that, for sure. Uh, this is walking the state park, King for a day. Ah, 40 ladies staying at that park, and Rusty is staying there for eight days. Hmm, interesting. Well, it, 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 I didn't meet any of them. I tried. <clears throat> I was going to get an inter try to find out more about their program, but I didn't have any luck. Uh, this is on uh, a new record, my $150 worth of uh, gasoline. Uh, John Voltageld, $3.88 today in Del Rio, Texas. Seems we swapped areas with you for a bit. We live in Deming, but are currently in Del Rio, then heading off to Choke Canyon, Goliad, Choke Canyon, Goliad, Mustang Island, and then north a bit. Yeah, that you're going a good route. You're going to get to see a lot of brush country. Jack in Florida. How do you turn the generator on? Do you have to go outside? Never went boondocking, thank you. No, there's a little switch on the inside. The starter is on the inside. You just prime it, start it, let it run for whatever time you choose, and then you cut it off right there. Yeah, thank you, Jack in Florida. Sea stone on the border wall. I think they filled the iron posts with concrete. That could be, you know, because for them to be solid iron would be strange. Yeah, but filling them with concrete would make sense. Thank you, C. Stone. Taser Boy 10 on the tiny homes. And, mm. Anyway, D. Anderson. I wonder if there are any good-looking women waiting tables at, at Irma's. No, actually, there is a girl there that uh, is, is quite a... Well, she's cute. And uh, I, when I got my breakfast taco, I was going to give her a tip, uh, but she never uh, came back by the table, and I didn't want to leave it on the table because... Well, anyway, there was several people in there, and it'd be easy to just reach your little hand out and pick it up. And so I, I, uh, I, I thought I'd go back there and give her a nice tip, but I never did. But yeah, there, there's, there's a cute young girl there, and she's really nice, and uh, works. She works very hard. Uh, Agita Zedek, I guess, or Zed Zedek. Pancho Villa was a criminal. Why honor a criminal? Well, they're not really honoring a criminal. What they're doing there is it's just a reminder of that tragedy that occurred there uh, in the early 1900s. And uh, it's, 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 it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, you know what I mean? Uh, Denise on the tiny home, something like this would be useful in developing countries where too many people lack affordable and quality housing. Well, but they still have to have the money to buy the materials, you see? And here we go right here. Uh, you know, Willie Nelson wrote a song kind of about uh, Pancho Villa. It says, Pancho, Pancho was a bandit boy. Pancho was a bandit boy. Da, 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 da. Yeah, anyway, it's a good song. Dale Pointer, a little morning poetry here. Pancho, Pancho, Pancho was a friend of mine. Rusty drank beer. Pancho drank wine. They rode the outlaw trail, the old gringo and Pancho. They slept under the night stars with Rusty's heart. With Rusty's horse, Big Honcho, they knew time was at hand. They parted and went their own way. The old gringo continued to roam, and Pancho met his final day. That's pretty good. Thank you very much, Dale Pointer, for our morning poetry. Very good. Thumbs up to you. RV Living with the Geezer. Check that YouTube channel out. He's out by Fort Davis, Texas. Says, Rusty, good luck on your search for a summer home base. Hopefully it all works out for you. It has. It, it, it did. Thank you. Mike B. Uh, on the tiny home says those things are junk. Okay. Very good. Very very thought out, very well thought out comment. Thank you for that well thought out comment, Mike B. Uh, D. Anderson on Walking Columbus. This is a good time of year to walk around that town. Yeah, you would, really wouldn't want to try that in July, August, and, and September. <clears throat> this is Little Kittle on uh, Walking the State Park. Great walk and talk. I really like the vegetation and rocks there. Nicely done. Yeah, the vegetation is mostly cactus. Uh, Alex take, takes Sion or something like that on the tiny home. But the uh, comments that say great alternative to high rent is absurd. The building is a good deal. Whose piece of land are you going to put it on? No, that's the key right there is finding a place to put it. <coughs> 
Anyway, we'll do a few more here. This is on comment call. James Sams says, Howdy, goat man. You should be happy to have a motorhome with a 50-gallon gas tank and $4 a gallon. You could have a big Class A that holds 150 gallons of diesel. Be happy. Smile. <laughs> I guess. Well, you know, the thing there, you know, some people would say, well, if you can afford an expensive Class A motorhome, then you just have to be able to afford the gas. This is a Yun Yu Yun. Nice one on the po po Poncho Villa. Thank you, a Yun. A Yun. Shauna Morris, I would be happy with water and electric. Nice walk and talk. Have a good night, Rusty. Yeah, the, at the State Park, Pancho Villa, they have water and electric and they have a dump station. <clears throat> this is a Yun, a Yun, Yu Yun. Good morning. Have a wonderful day. You too. Terry Murphy, Thornyville, Thornyville Cactus State Park. Yeah, that's Thorny's home. Yeah, his parents or kinfolk. Uh, this is on the border wall, Kenny Wall. The vertical box steel beams of new USA border wall are filled with cement grout. Okay, well, that's good to know because they are solid. Uh, anyway, comment call, Tortilla Corn 180. First time seeing your videos today. We'll be working my way through your library of older ones as well. Stay warm, and thanks for being so dedicated to your channel. Well, welcome aboard, and thank you very much for your comment. Enjoy the videos. I hope you do. Tom Sharp on Walking Columbus. How was that breakfast burrito at Irma's? They're good, because she's got several different ones. I got a green chili. It comes with green chili. It's like hamburger meat, and uh, and I can't remember. Several other items, potatoes and stuff. No, it's, they're good. No, and she makes her own uh, flour tortillas, so yeah, they're good. Uh, town looks very clean with a lot, lot of new sidewalk construction. Yeah, they've, they've done a lot of work. Okay, then we've got a fanatic comment here. Got rid of that. Here, here's one. I won't read the name. The name's crazy. Anyway, Matilda says, thank you, oh weird one. For your comment Bloop, there you go and uh, that's going to be you know I, i'm going to have to get me some waffles with with some strawberry syrup because i keep saying that's what matilda wants and i think psych subconsciously that's what i want <clears throat> kenny jones on walking uh columbus you must have a thing for pancho villa every year okay kenny you're gone kenny's gone forever too Bye, Kenny. You know, you, you just don't leave smart-ass comments, my friend. You know, Matilda doesn't need anything right now, but thank you very much. You know, leave those stupid comments, man. And fortunately, I am in charge of this channel, and some people just don't fit in. I call it weeding the garden. You know, if you've got a garden with beautiful fresh vegetables, you know, row after row after row, and in the middle of that is one damn stinking weed. Reach down, put your hand right near the roots, and jerk that dog out and chunk that mother. Anyway, enough said. Troy P., did you ever bump, did you ever bump into Pancho later on? No, I didn't, I didn't. Back on your meds, Troy. <laughs> I think Pancho, hey Google, what year did Pancho Villa die? <clears throat> Pancho Villa was assassinated on the 20th of July, 1923. Well, he didn't even get to die voluntarily. Somebody shot him. <laughs> That'll do it. The Dogman Chronicles enjoyed seeing the state park. Thanks, Rusty. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll do three more and then shut her down. Sabrine Alcamisi. Oh, God, another nut. Bye, Sabrina. You know, I can't feed you to Matilda. She weighs about 400 pounds now. Rip Snorton, Anchor Babies, whatever that is. Uh, Dano, D-A-N-N-O. My brother's dis a disabled. Anyway, he's disabled. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, he's going to get a tiny home. Good, Dano. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. R-D-D-3. Wow, not much traffic. No, there's not much at all. Benny Hill, Rusty Ain't Krusty. Uh, Elaine Tool, the movie Silence of the Lamb is free with your I Amazon Prime R rating. Yeah, I've seen that movie. It's really a weird movie. 
It's a good movie. That's okay. It's interesting. But anyway, from <sighs> Capitan, New Mexico, with a wonderful little delicatessen at Smokey's Market here in Capitan. And uh, gro that's a grocery store also. And I went there yesterday and got me some big old pork tips and some, uh, uh, what else did I get? Uh, it's funny how names escape me now. But anyway, I got plenty of food. But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, meatloaf. That's what I was going to say, meatloaf. Thumbs up, carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, and buy whatever you want, and we're good. Yeah, if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, check it out. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. The only way to lose weight, and you know it, I know it, eat less, that's it. Get a smaller plate. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do that several times a day. You'll never regret it. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons in there forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, common sense says, add good ingredients. Problem solved, right? Right. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Do not watch the news. Why? First of all, it's totally exaggerated crap, and most of the time it's total lies. But that's your choice. If you want to feed off of it, go for it. My opinion, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, and I'll make a little semi-announcement, an update, which I think you will enjoy. I know I am. Anyway, adios. Bye-bye.